Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is on logon groups. What is a logon group and SAP and when do we use them? So basically logon group is used in situations where say for example we have different environments like we have an SD group, we have an MM group, we have a financing group and we want to restrict the users say for example SD group or from a particular city particular country to a particular application server. So we will create a logon groups in the system and people who are coming from that location or that area is restricted to a uh, logon group say for example if people coming from SD is going to one application server, people coming from MM is going to another application server, people coming from Chicago is going to one application server, people coming from New York is going to another application server. So during these situations we create something called logon groups okay so then other situations like for example if we have a heavy load we can say background jobs is going to going to other logon groups things like rfc is going to other logon groups okay so that is these are the situations where we we can use logon groups. Okay, so let me show you how do we set up a logon group. So for setting up a logon group, we need to go to a transaction called SMLG. Okay, so this is the transaction code SMLG for setting up a logon group. Okay, if I click on the logon group here, you will see here you can maintain the logon group say for example I'll create a logon group called public okay so this logon group is created this logon group is public logon group okay and this logon group I will select a particular application server here so the logon group called this is I just click on copy here you can see that this a logon group called public is created which uses this instance okay and I can edit this logon group as well okay then these are the properties for the logon group like assignment whether it is the RFCs is using this or instance dependent and we can check whether this logon group is it working or not Okay, so that's how the logon group creation works. Okay, so that is on the logon group part. So we have seen what is this logon group, when do we need to create the logon group, and how to create a logon group. And one last thing is about by default, every instance of an SAP system is assigned to a logon group called space. So that is the default logon group. Okay, so that is what I wanted to share in this particular training session. Thanks for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.